Investigation into the disappearance of a missing journalist continues to spark controversy in Washington, D.C. tonight. Turkey claims to have an audio recording from within the Saudi consulate proving that the Washington Post columnist was killed. So how is the president reacting? Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo has the answer now from the nation's capital tonight. Lorraine Calvin, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is now back stateside and is expected to brief the president tomorrow morning. The president tonight is focusing on that gruesome audio tape that apparently captured the moment this man was murdered. New reporting tonight says he was beheaded and dismembered. We have asked for it. If it exists, we have asked for it. The president looking for hard evidence after Turkish authorities say they have audio tapes of Jamal Khashoggi being murdered by Saudis. The New York Times saying those tapes reveal he was beheaded and dismembered all in their Istanbul consulate 15 days ago. I'm not sure yet that it exists. Probably does, possibly does. Uh, I'll have a full report on that from Mike when he comes back. Mike Pompeo spending three hours on the ground in Turkey, meeting with President Erdogan and the foreign minister in Ankara. Turkish sources telling the Washington Post that at least three members of the Saudi hit squad were members of Mohammed bin Salman's personal security, and at least one traveled with the crown prince. Pompeo met with him yesterday and offered few details. I don't want to talk about any of the facts. Uh, they, they didn't want to either. Khashoggi was an American resident working for an American paper, the Washington Post. His children are American citizens, but the president clearly upset when asked today whether the FBI is involved. And you don't know whether or not we have, do you? Well, I, I, no, but do you know whether or not we've sent the FBI? Have you sent the FBI? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. And the First Lady suddenly forced to return to Joint Base Andrews. This after some smoke entered into the cabin just 10 minutes into the flight. Pilots put on masks. Passengers were told to breathe through wet towels. And Secret Service agents rushed to the front of the plane before they landed safely. Melania boarded another plane and arrived in Philadelphia soon afterwards. I'm sorry for a little delay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to be with all of you today. The U.S. Air Force later is saying that smoke apparently came from some communications equipment in the cockpit. No one was injured. For now, that's the very latest from Washington. I'm Ross Palumbo. Lorraine Calvin, back to you. Okay, Ross, thanks.